He's got some Dominican connections. He's got some order of preachers in him. He does. I mean, we can't claim everything. You know, that most of it's uh, thanks to Poland. Uh, That's right. You know, but yeah. as as a Dominican connection, and and what's the influence that the our order, our tradition, the Thomistic tradition, what has that had, or wh- where does that land with him? Sure, and I'm not an expert on JP2 and Dominicans, but I do know this, that he, he did his doctorate in, uh, at, the, at the Angelicum, so the Pontifical, Academy of Saint, Pontifical School of St. Thomas uh, in Rome, uh, where uh, Father Thomas Joseph right now is, is rector, and we have a number yeah. of our Dominicans yeah, from yeah, our province do. there, um, and have many have come from there. It's a wonderful institution. And he did un- studying. He did his doctorate there underneath, uh, studying under uh, Gergou Lagrange, who mm-hmm. is uh, for many of our listeners are very familiar with the three ages of the of the interior spiritual life, life, spiritual yeah. life, which we talked about. And I, th- I think a, yeah, we we did that episode. episode. Yeah, um, for sure. And was writing on Saint John the Cross and Carmelite uh, things. Mm-hmm. So that that kind of connection, and you'll see that in the introduction, uh, introductory essay to his uh, theology of the body, the newer edition talks mm-hmm. about John of the Cross as spirituality in relation to this. So he was under. Uh, Gergou Lagrange had studied the Ange. Uh, he has a Thomistic background, you could say. Uh, that's the one part. On the other part, um, his Thomistic background is is what's called Lublin Thomism, and mm-hmm, it's a mm-hmm. particularly phenomenological account, so following from Edmund, Edmund Husserl and uh, a, a more m- contemporary kind mm-hmm. of modern philosophical way of thinking, which I want to talk about. But that's one side. So he's he's not a scholastic, you could say, yeah, commentatorial yeah. Uh, sense. He's not like Gerigou Lagrange. Anyway, he doesn't write in sort of major premise, minor premise, no. and all and conclusions, and all that way. Also, Gerigou Lagrange, I think famously, if I remember correctly, said uh, right. Uh, Writes li- writes much says little. Yeah, that I was, was not that, that was impressed with his uh, with his, his work and such. I think because of this, John Paul was of course a dramatist uh, coming from from yeah. acting background and such. Yeah. So th- so while there was a there's a Dominican pedigree, uh, at the same time his JP 2s Thomism is is very different uh, than than say scholastic commentatorial Thomism, and that gives a pause for some Dominicans at least for the legacy of John mm-hmm. Paul. They worry that perhaps he's too modern or he's. Uh, uh, but there's a sense that uh, he's, I think, he's a good case made that he's a nice fusion yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you could say, a, an appropriation of the Thomistic tradition with some modern elements to mm-hmm. it while not while not getting rid of any of the, the bad things. But there's a whole, it's a larger fight about yeah, these it's, things. It's, it's when you get down thing. to the details, there's always some questions. It's... But. Um, what what's a, one of the titles for it? it's like Thomistic personalism? That's it, right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And, yeah, and that's where Gary Lagrange is coming as like a comment commentatorial tradition, right? He's just mm-hmm. making comments. Where I think John Paul II and you kind of picked up on that. Like, yeah, he was he was a dramatist and in, in those types of things, and kind of was able to apply the tradition, mm-hmm. never adjusting it. He never. Um, oh, so it, so some would say. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's a good point. But he he in a deep respect was like continuing that tradition, but uh, allowing it to apply in, in a few different areas and making it um, in a, in a very contemporary conversation. He also so, added he also added five mysteries to the rosary. Well, I mean, for after you know, in two thousand. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so that after five hundred years or eight hundred years of the rosary or seven hundred years of the rosary, uh, 50, you know, now we have a new mysteries, luminous mysteries. Yeah. So yeah. there's always a <laughs> Dominicans always have something to gripe about JP two, and perhaps we, we gripe too much about him uh, because there's so many so many good things about him always, that it still needs to be unpacked things. today. Oh yeah, that's it. This is Father Bonaventure. Thanks for listening to God's Planning. Please be sure to like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Thanks.